sweating to death. It's really hot. Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of my closet. This video has been highly, highly requested ever since I posted a video talking about how I was detoxing my life from material possessions, streamlining my belongings, and just moving more towards minimalism. I posted a closet tour maybe like eight or nine years ago on my channel, and since then, my mentality has dramatically shifted, and I really feel like I'm at a point in my life where I only want to hold on to things that are meaningful to me, useful, and things that bring me a tremendous amount of joy. And I don't feel like I've completely reached my goal yet, but I feel like I've made massive strides towards getting there. If you feel completely suffocated by materialism and just things that you don't love, hopefully this video will inspire you to take small steps yourself. I do think it's really important when you're downsizing your possessions to be mindful of where they're going. Right now I'm still in the process of donating things that are still in wearable condition and selling some of my secondhand items that are a little bit more valuable. So before we get started with the actual tour, I did list a ton of my secondhand belongings on Poshmark. I've pretty much used eBay up until this point, and to be honest, it feels a bit dated, but there are so many secondhand clothing apps now, and I thought I would try something a bit different, and so far, I'm really liking Poshmark. It's super easy to use, and I'm going to quickly show you how it works because it's actually pretty cool if you're looking to sell your own secondhand items. Basically, you log into the app. It's kind of like a mix between Instagram and eBay, and you can see everything that I have in my closet. I've only listed about, what, let's see. 14 items so far. You can select any item and then scroll through my immaculate photos. <laughs> the best part about my photography is that I took pictures of this watch upside down. Yep, sorry. <laughs> and if you want to list your own items, you can easily do that um, using the app directly or you can take photos and then upload them from your photo roll. So say I wanna list these jeans, I can just select all the pictures crop them if I want. And then you can add some details about the item. This app is really user friendly, so all of the options make it really simple to quickly enter the details, and then you can select your price, hit next, and then your item is listed. So that item will immediately show up in my feed, and then it will also be listed in my closet as well. So right now I have tons of different designer accessories, Louis Vuitton scarves in a bunch of colors, classic Levi's that have been tailored to be more flattering, some nice shirts in good condition, some stuff that even has tags on it. If you guys are interested in shopping my secondhand wardrobe or listing some of your own items, you can check out the Poshmark app and download it for free by using the link in the description box. My closet handle is It's Blitz. If you already use Poshmark, comment below and let me know what your closet handle is so we can connect on there. And now, onto the closet. Here is the outside of my closet. I have two robes, one for warm weather, one for colder weather. I also have this hat. Like, I don't really know what I was thinking when I bought it. This needs to go. We'll put that in the pile. My closet definitely looks way larger on camera for some reason. Although technically, in Los Angeles, this might be considered a walk-in closet because I can physically walk inside of it. And that's about as far as I can walk. The first thing I want to point out when I open my closet is that everything is visible. And it might be a bit hard to kind of see that on camera, but I can literally see every single thing in my closet. I don't have to move anything around. Okay, side note, because I know somebody's going to give me a hard time about having this uh, sheepskin. I've had this for so long and I just washed it. That's why it looks so fresh and so clean. But this is not something that I would buy now. Okay, so I'm going to start with my shoes because they are the most visible and easily accessible. I have a bunch of different pairs of boots because those are what I generally wear on a daily basis. I have a couple pairs of sneakers. Over here, I have a couple more pairs of boots. These are one of my favorite pairs. I wear these like every other day probably. If you're wondering why they look so shiny and new, it's because I polish my shoes almost every time I wear them. So these are actually secondhand boots from my friend Heather who is getting rid of them. 
Over here, got the regular Tims, maybe my most worn shoe ever. And these boots are ones that my boyfriend bought me and he really, really has high hopes that I'll wear them, but I'm like six foot six in them. That's pretty much the extent of my shoes. I do have a couple more pairs up here, including another favorite pair that I keep in a box. I wear these pretty often as well. Just like a basic pair of black boots. And then over here, got some gym shoes. Okay, this box is empty. I have a couple bags in that bottom box. This is a vegan bunny bag that my friend made and I'm kind of obsessed with it. And then over here I have some wool because I'm always working on like knitting blankets. I usually have this blanket up there as well but sometimes it falls down and it weighs like a lot so I didn't want it to like knock me over when I was making this video. Okay, so now for the really extra part. There was a store going out of business in my neighborhood and they were getting rid of all of these industrial rolling racks. So I grabbed one for this video because I thought it would be easier to show you my wardrobe rather than us standing inside of my closet. All right, this is side one of my closet. Looks way smaller when it's not spread out. This is my one hoodie that I saved for going to the gym. Pretty much everything else in my wardrobe is like, really casual. A lot of my items can be dressed up or dressed down. This is one of my favorite shirts. It's from Brandy Melville. I think it was like 20 bucks. And if you know me, you know how much I love a turtleneck or a mock turtleneck, which is why there's a version of that shirt in both sleeveless and long sleeve. I could honestly wear mock turtlenecks or turtlenecks for the rest of my life. I don't care what anyone says. This is probably one of my favorite shirts. Oh my God, it's covered in cat hair. Let's put it back. <laughs> and then I have a couple like nicer or like fancier things. I have two skirts, you guys. And you know what? I'm over it. I hate skirts. This is going in the pile. I do actually have, okay, so wait, I have three skirts. I do actually really like this long black skirt. It has a side slit and that's pretty nice for just, I don't know, something a little bit more dressy. These are like, they're like stretchy bell bottoms. I really like these. Got some like wide leg trouser pants, big fan. Some more t-shirts from Reformation. Ooh, this is another favorite of mine. This is a kimono that I got from my friend's store. It's just like a basic black kimono. And I love wearing this if I'm going to a restaurant and I think I might get a little chilly. It's just like a perfect lightweight cover up and it's also just really cute. Actually, this is also from my friend's store. It's just like a velvet suit and it's one of the only like nice, nice things that I own. Looking at this is making me hot because it's about 105 degrees in my room right now. So we're gonna go past that guy, but that's nice for colder weather. And this is one of my favorite pieces. It's a really great like mid-weight coat. And the cool thing is that it's reversible. And then this is just a full length, really warm cardigan. I wear this all the time. As you can see, it's gotten a lot of use. And then another basic short sleeve shirt situation with the mock turtleneck. Oh yeah, I also have this sweatshirt that I've had since um, I lived in New York from my friend's old clothing line. And I don't know, it just reminds me of like my friends in New York and it's really comfortable. So I have one sweatshirt. And speaking of secondhand stuff, I got this Theory blazer in New York for like $15. Last random thing, this Banana Republic cardigan belonged to Nick's mom and I wear it all the time. Okay, leave me alone. And just for reference, you guys, this is 23 items. Like I said, I'm working towards still getting rid of things. A big part of that is not purchasing anything else, which I've been really good about. 23 items on half of my closet. I don't think that's really that bad. In the next year or so, I would like to completely cut my wardrobe by half, but I do feel like I'm making really good progress. That concludes side one of my closet. Let's move on to side two. This is the colorful section. Almost everything here, except for a couple pieces, are second hand. Um, so let me spread it out a bit. Also, let me just point out, if I wanted to fit everything on one side of my closet, I easily could. That's like a third of this bar. However, because I have the space, 
I like to spread it out because then you can see everything a little more clearly. All right, y'all. Looking at things now and already seeing things I can get rid of. Let's sell that. For some reason, I'm forcing myself to hold on to this shirt because I know the moment I get rid of it, someone's going to invite me to like a Hawaiian shirt party and what the hell am I going to wear? Again, with the mock turtlenecks, jean shorts that I cut off from old Levi's, basic jean skirt, weird little jumpsuit thing. You know what? Don't need it. As far as vintage goes, this is one of my favorite things that I own. Helmet Lang from 1998. It's just like a mesh dress. And then I have this Valentino shirt, which is also vintage from a thrift store and has a really unique kind of back. Plus it's really stretchy and just very flattering. Saint Laurent men's button down. Nick thinks it's like the most hideous thing that I own. In general, I love a good like men's flannel shirt. I do steal them from my boyfriend frequently. Mock turtleneck. Um, I'm obsessed with these pants. Just like plaid vintage high-waisted trousers. A little bit hard to button after a lot of food, but really, really like them. This is from one of my favorite vintage shops in New York. So it kind of brings back memories. Nick also thinks this is ugly, but I like it. And also I think red looks good on me. What do you guys think? Another shirt that I really can't get rid of because I'm determined to wear this to like a New Year's party. I just haven't been invited to it yet. So can somebody invite me please? Thank you. I really love a good pair of high-waisted trouser pants. So I have a couple pairs of those. These are also vintage Escada. Really, really cheap find and these fit me so well. Hand-me-downs from my friend. Again with the kimono bit. And then I just have a pair of like tapered khaki pants a leather jacket that I bought at a thrift store. I've had this for a really long time. I think I paid like, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks for it and I wear it very, very often. It's just like a men's motorcycle jacket. And in this dust bag, you guys, is my only dress that I own. Let's see if I can kind of pull it out. It's just like a basic button down dress with a tie waist from Reformation. Honestly, I've never worn it, but I'm holding on to it for like weddings, Hopefully not funerals. I don't know, anytime I need to wear something that's a little bit formal, it's nice to just have it on hand in case I need it. And that is it for my closet. I feel like normal people keep their things really, really squished together like that. 20 items over here, and there were, I think, 23 on the last rack. So 43 clothing items in my closet. I do also have some stuff in these drawers, um, like underwear and socks. I have some jeans in the bottom and like a sweater and then in this drawer I just have some t-shirts and sweatpants these drawers still need a little bit of work I do have a problem with socks because I change my socks like 10 times a day it's a long story that's my one weird hang up maybe I could even do a video where I show you my actual process while I'm getting rid of stuff if you want to see that with my drawers let me know that might be boring I don't know um, I just want to reiterate how much space I'm not using in my closet I'm using like one fourth or less of my closet space. You see how much more stuff could fit on that rack? So that is my closet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little bit attached to the rolling rack. Make sure to check out my secondhand clothing on Poshmark if you wanna shop my closet. And you can download the app for free using the link in the description box. And if you already use the app, then leave your closet handle below so we can connect on that app. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Stay cool, and if you're in the air conditioning, please just let me live vicariously through you for like five minutes. Hey everyone, nope. I can't believe I survived this video. It's hot as a... I feel attached to the rack though.